What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 24th tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to begin talking about object oriented programming. What objects are and I'm also going to be showing you guys some built in objects in JavaScript. So object oriented programming is definitely one of the coolest features on JavaScript but it's also one of the most easily misunderstood. So if you ever took a JavaScript class or maybe you're taking one right now or maybe just someone tried to explain objects to you it sounded so confusing and it was just totally twisted and you didn't really understand anything and also if you ever read any books then it was like what the heck are they talking about so everything up until now has been pretty easy with computer programming I mean we pretty much could read something or watch the video and understand it but object oriented programming it kinda of throws a twist on computer programming because everything was kind of set out for you before but now we're gonna be beginning to kind of make our own data types and stuff like that so before I confuse you any further let me just say this I'm gonna be making it really easy to understand what objects are so just stick with my videos and trust me it's gonna be a whole lot more simple for you so let me just say this if you don't even know what an object is I just put it in the most basic terms an object is pretty much a weird piece of data that has its own properties and methods for example I'm not talking about computer programming language here I'm talking about real life if I was an object Bucky Roberts I would have my own properties and my properties would be like things you could put in variables like hair color brown um favorite baseball team Red Sox um eye color brown car blue height 5 6 weight 180 whatever even though I'm not 180 just saying alright so now we have an object with all these properties and aside from properties I can also have something called methods now methods would be the thing that the object does so let's list some methods for Bucky Roberts um, drive a car eat Hot Pockets make video tutorials play Call of Duty so now you can see that an object has two things properties which are all the variables and methods which are all the things that the object does so now combining those two things you have a pretty good blueprint or outline of me of my life of my object so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the properties and methods that are already built in JavaScript so let's go ahead and make um, just a regular variable called tuna and we'll set this equal to some text like hey I am a tuna fish explanation point we'll check it out did you know that this variable tuna is indeed an object with its own properties so in order to get the properties or get the methods of an object we need to use something called a dot separator and in order to do this the syntax is this go ahead and list your object which is in this case tuna then go ahead and add your dot separator and after this you can go ahead and list all the properties or all the methods that are associated with this object so like I said even though you may not know it tuna has a property in it and this is built in the JavaScript already I'm not making any of this up it's called length just like that and what this does is it counts how many characters are in the variable which I don't know this is probably somewhere close to 18 or something and it pretty much just lists it as a number it's one of the properties associated with that variable so if we wanted to write it out on the screen just write document write and then we just go ahead and write tuna dot length so let's go ahead and save this refresh and see what we get 21 I was a little bit off but anyways now we can see that this object tuna which is actually a variable it has a property of it called length and that length pretty much tells you a little more about this tuna object so that's basically one of the properties that is built into JavaScript but for example one of my properties would be like Bucky um, hair and that would say brown eyes that would say brown too um weight that would be like 150 so that is basically what a property is so like i said objects have two things properties and methods we already took a look at properties now let's go ahead and take a look at methods and in order to do this we don't even have to learn anything new because we've been using something all along and that is 
document dot write and then this is how you write something out on the screen like hey now brown cow so I know I didn't talk about this really before because I didn't want to talk about object oriented programming but now it is time to understand what this all means well believe it or not the document is actually an object itself if you're looking at your web browser right here you see a bunch of little pieces the toolbar the uh, you know your favorites the X maximize minimize and this big white box right here that's pretty much the body of your web page it's a big white square and in JavaScript language this is called the document of your web page so that's where the object the document gets its name from it's pretty much a document so all these pieces those are called different things but this is the document object if it had properties it would be white rectangle four sides maybe it could be maybe you could calculate its perimeter or area or anything but those would be all the properties associated with it now the methods with the document it can do basically one thing we learned so far and that's write text on the screen so now you can see that just like before you write your object name to the left hand side which is document and to the right hand side you write the method and this method is called write so that's why you can use objects and methods to actually do something so for example if you're writing something with my object you would write Bucky right here and you would write eat hot pockets right here or you might write Bucky make tutorials right there but now the object is document and one of the methods is write and of course I don't have to tell you guys what this means it just means write text out on the screen so all I wanted to get through you guys in this tutorial is there are some objects that are already built in JavaScript and in order to use them you go ahead and write the object name with the dot separator and you can either write the variables or properties right here or the functions and methods right there so that is what dot separator is and that's the basics of objects It's pretty much pretty much just something with its own properties and methods simple enough so now you're saying alright that was interesting and all so now what do you want me to do like go ahead and memorize every single object that's built in JavaScript well you can do that but it'll be kind of a waste of time the reason I'm showing you guys this is because in the next tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to create objects of your own and like I said I gave you guys an example like Bucky eat hot pockets and stuff but we're gonna be making objects and having them do computer related stuff like pop up alert boxes and open windows and maybe make some calculations or something so now that you understand the basics of an object and how you can separate things using a dot separator we can begin making our very own objects so I know this is a little confusing and different than what we've been learning before but trust me once you learn this a whole new world is gonna be open up to you and your life you're gonna feel fulfilled so if you had any empty feeling in your heart before or maybe you were depressed trust me this is the best <laughs> this is the best medicine object-oriented program so that's all I have for you guys. That's my inspirational speech for this video. So thank you guys for watching. In the next video, we're going to be creating our very own objects. So I'll see you then.